Rabbit Judy Hopps from rural Banibaro fulfills her childhood dream of becoming a police officer in urban Zootopia. Despite being the Academy valedictorian, Ju. Diva is delegated to parking duty by Chief Bogo, who fails to recognize her talent. On her first day on the job, Judy is hustled by a con artist fox duo, Nick Wilde and Finnick. Later, Duke Wieselton S. steals a bag of crocus bugs known as Midnickumpum holicitiers. Judy abandons parking duty to arrest Wieselton, and is reprimanded by Bogo. Mrs. Otterton unexpectedly barges into Bogo's office pleading for someone to find her husband Emmett. One of 14 missing animals. Judy volunteers and the city's assistant mayor, Udon Belveda, praises the assignment. Bogo has no choice but to agree, but secretly orders Judy to resign if she fails within 48 hours. Having ascertained that Nick was the last to see Emmett, Judy blackmails him into helping her by covertly recording his confession to tax evasion. They track Emmett to a limousine owned by crime boss Mr. Big, an arctic shrew. He reveals that Emmett suddenly went, savage, attacking Mr. Big's chauffeur Manchas. The two visit Manchas, a black jaguar, and he says Emmett yelled about, night howlers, before the attack. Manchas then turns savage and chases the pair. Judy traps Manchas and calls the ZPD for help, however, Manchas vanishes before they arrive. Bogo demands Judy to resign, but Nick reminds Bogo that she still has 10 hours remaining. While leaving the scene, Nick reveals to Judy that he became a con artist because, as a child, he tried to join the Junior Ranger Scouts, only to be mistreated and rejected simply for being a fox. At City Hall, Belveda offers Judy and Nick access to Zootopia's traffic cameras. They discover Manchas was taken by wolves, whom Judy surmises are the night howlers. Following the wolves, the duo locate Manchas and the rest of the missing animals, all savage predators, imprisoned at a local asylum. Zootopia's mayor, Leodore Lionheart, ordered their capture and is trying to ascertain the cause of their behavior. Lionheart and the asylum staff are soon arrested for far. LSE imprisonment and Belveda becomes the new mayor. Judy, praised for solving the case, asks Nick to join the ZPD as her partner. However, he angrily rejects her offer after a reporter maneuvers Ju. Divi into saying predatory biology is behind the mysterious savageness epidemic. Judy's comments, broadcast on television, incite fear and discrimination against predators throughout Zootopia. Racked with guilt, Judy quits her job and returns home. There, she learns that night howlers are actually the crocus bulbs Wieselton stole, they contain a neurotoxin that has severe, lasting psychotropic A. Effects on mammals that causes them to turn savage. Judy returns to Zootopia, tearfully reconciling with Nick. With the help of Mr. Big, Judy and Nick interrogate Wieselton, who admits he was hired by a ram named Doug. They find Doug in a laboratory hidden in the city subway, where he manufactures a night howler serum to be shot at predators via a dart gun. Judy and Nick obtain a serum gun as evidence, but before they can reach the ZPD, Belveda confronts them in the Natural History Museum, revealing herself as the mastermind behind a prey supremacist conspiracy. The duo become trapped in an Exhibit and Bellwether attempts to infect Nick as she summons the ZPD, but Nick had disabled the gun by replacing its ammunition with blueberries and Judy reveals she recorded Bellwether's confession just as the ZPD arrives. Bellwether and her accomplices are arrested, while Lionheart, still in prison, publicly denies knowledge of her plot and insists that imprisoning the infected predators was a wrong thing for the right reason. With the cause of the epidemic identified, the predators are cured, Judy rejoins the ZPD and Nick becomes her partner and the first Fox police officer.